about the race for U.S. Senate meantime, Senator Ted Cruz looking for his third term in office come November. Of course, he is set to win tonight easily. Republican primary tonight against challenger Red Gibson. So now the question is, which Democrat is going to face Cruz come November? There were several candidates in the running to make that happen, but looks like tonight, U.S. Representative Colin Allred, he plans to advance to the general election now. The congressman beat out State Senator Roland Gutierrez. We've got Marvin Hurst joining us live right now from Allred's watch party in Dallas. He was very spirited, Marvin, when we heard him talking not too long ago and, and took some direct shots at Cruz. Yeah, he took some really direct shots at Cruz. As a matter of fact, we tried to get him over here for uh, the newscast. He says his schedule just could not permit it tonight. Long night, obviously. He and his wife, Allie, came here. Their sons, Jordan Cameron, he says, too young to understand what's going on here. But he hopes someday that they do understand that their father tried to make a difference. So uh, we asked him how he felt. And he said, well, now the big test comes and that's when he started taking those shots up there at the uh, the podium there he says that uh, you know he every Texan should be involved in this campaign he says it's a high stakes election he says there are public servants and then there are Ted Cruz those are his words he says in the NFL when he played on a team there they had what they called me guys and he called Ted Cruz a me guy and he says it's time to get away from me and get back to we and that's his message basically tonight he wants to build a movement around all voters not just democrats republicans independents he wants to build a coalition and get things done he has crossed the lines before and called out president biden and he, he said there was a problem at the at the border tonight but he says it has to be handled in a way that aligns with our values so he uh, spoke about Martin Luther King. He did the We Shall Overcome. He said, yes, we can. But he says this movement is about us. He says it's about we. And if we want to do something, then we are going to have to meet him at the polls and vote for him. Reporting live, Marvin Hirsch, CBS News.